Hey what's up guys it's Bifrost here in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to play the latest Metroid Prime 4 Beyond on your mobile devices with the help of a Nintendo Switch emulator. To get started for today's video we'll be using the Eden Nintendo Switch emulator Android and not the normal version of Eden emulator we'll be using the Eden CI PR builds which are for testing and development purposes. So in the latest PR build of Eden emulator which I'll show you guys let's go to the releases section. The releases 3142 the 3142 of Eden PR testing build is the only one that is capable of running Metroid Prime 4. So Eden is a completely open source Nintendo Switch emulator for Android available on its own official github and will be trying out its standard build. Once that's done simply launch the Eden emulator afterwards tap on the notification if you want to grant it you can and you will be able to see the UI of the Eden emulator has also changed compared to the previous version. To set up this Nintendo Switch emulator you will need to import your keys that you have legally dumped from your Nintendo Switch along with the firmware and select the folder where you have stored your Switch games. Once you have completed all the three steps it will say complete tap on the next button and tap on get started and right here is the Eden emulator with the Metroid Prime 4 game that I have dumped on my Android device. So you'll need to dump your own copy of Metroid Prime 4 on your Android devices as well so you guys can play it inside Eden Emulator. Once again it only works on the 3142 build of Eden Emulator. I hope that is clear. Let's start by applying the best settings. So here first of all we'll go to advanced settings, go to Eden Swell and make sure to enable release fences early to fix zero FPS issue in latest games. Afterwards extended dynamic state keep it disabled. Go to system, disable limit speed percentage, scroll back, go to graphics and here accuracy level should be normal resolution scaling set it to 0.75x enable force maximum clocks or synchronous shader vsync mode set it to mailbox afterwards aspect ratio stretch to window once that has been done you can configure performance overlay as well as device overlay if you want to get more information such as app memory usage battery temperature etc after that you can go back go to gpu driver manager tap on the fetch button and you will need to import the latest mesa turnip adreno driver for snapdragon processors so here go to kimchi turnip and make sure to use the latest 26.0.0 revision 5 mesa turnip driver if you have a device which has snapdragon 8 gen 3 or below but for 8 Elite you can only use the Game Hub Emulator's Adreno Graphics Driver 842.8 .8, so it has been successfully selected right here. Once that has been done we have successfully applied the best settings and finally we'll tap on the game and see how well does it work. Now when you open it for the first time you guys can see the FPS going up and our game will successfully start. Here we go as you guys can see right here is the cutscene of Metroid Prime 4 booting on our Android device. This wasn't possible till now but it is finally possible. Nintendo presents. And right now you guys can see some stuttering issues. There are some stuttering issues here and there along with graphical issues. So that is what you will face. But we'll go with dual stick. We'll select normal game mode. And here we go. Our game is about to start. So right here is the beginning cutscene as you will be able to see. I would say one of the biggest Nintendo Switch games of 2025. And here we go guys. Our game begins. So once our game has successfully started you guys can see the FPS which we are getting. This game is running on our Android device with well over 100 plus FPS. And yeah it just crashed so it does have a lot of crashing issues as well because this is very experimental build of Eden Emulator and these changes will probably be implemented in the Eden Emulator's version 0.5 and as you just saw the game crash, the emulator crashed, everything crashes sometimes but it will also work though from the small part of gameplay which you saw there were graphical issues and regardless of that now it is crashing because of the shader cache. So you can simply go here tap on remove shader catch after start this game once again so we'll go back we'll play it and this time it should successfully boot because we have removed all the shader catch as you guys can see it's loading so if your game starts to crash then you'll basically need to delete all the shader cache and restart your game so here we go our game begins once more and you guys can see it is working properly but yeah it crashes quite a lot so right now this is as far as you can go with the metroid prime 4 beyond inside the eden emulator for android in the next upcoming updates you can play it more so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel thanks for watching goodbye